We've been uncovering secrets that your genes keep. We've been discussing the BRCA mutation, which of course Angelina Jolie has really raised awareness with this issue. It's, it's truly an individual decision, but here we are. And a lot of people at home are wondering, can I even afford this? How expensive is it? Is this something only Angelina can afford? Right, this is not a test just for the rich and famous. Every major insurance carrier has strict criteria and when you meet them, they'll say, yes, we'll pay for this test. So for the vast majority of insured women, this is a covered test. It's the uninsured and underinsured for whom it becomes impossibly expensive. If you don't qualify, what is the roundabout cost of the test? It's about 4000 But now that certain patents have been lost, and there's not a monopoly on testing, the price will be driven down by competition, number one. Number two, those who... Number two, right now, the majority of people who are not covered by their insurance, really the good news for them is they're just not high enough risk to have the test. What insurance basically looks at is do you have at least a 5 to 10% chance of having this gene? Mm -hmm. And if you do, we'll cover the test. And that's important because we are not proposing that everyone get tested. This is not a test necessarily for everyone. Well, and Dr. So, Dr. Gordon said that one in five to 700 people carries this genetic mutation. While that's a lot, that's a maybe a million people in the United States right now, right. that's not every woman walking. No, that's true. So, so talk to us a little bit about who then, who should get the test? Great, here are the basics. If you yourself or two of your family members has had breast cancer under age 50 or ovarian cancer at any age, you should test. You only need one of those relatives if you happen to be Ashkenazi Jewish. If anyone already has the BRCA gene mutation, if there is a male breast cancer in your family, if you yourself have had what's called a triple negative breast cancer prior to age 60, mm -hmm. you would know if you've had it. Yes. <laughs> and if you yourself have had more than one breast cancer, you should test. And finally, if there's just a whole lot of cancer in your family, three or more family members, Maternal or paternal side, dad's side matters just as much. With breast, ovarian, pancreas, prostate, gastric, which is stomach, colon, uterine, or melanoma, test. Wow. And, and these are the, the risk factors and a reason to test. But I always also tell people, and it's one of the first things I tell med students is, Never, ever, ever order a test or get a test unless you have some idea what you're going to do with the results. Testing is not ideal if you have no idea what you'll do with the results. So you have to think about that too. You do, and I empower women by releasing some of the fear, I hope, associated with the, test, the, with the question of do I test or not? Yeah. By simply saying, look, it's just one more piece of information. If you have the gene, now we know. We gotta up the ante with more surveillance. I'm not telling you you need mastectomies mm -hmm. tomorrow, but you need to get your head out of the sand. You either need more intense surveillance mm -hmm. or you get to find out your actual level of risk and make proactive choices that can hopefully save your life. Thinking back, I've had many women be terrified to find out the results. I've never had one say, wow, I wish I didn't know I had this gene. Sure. And I think what's important is with technology, women are having more and more choices. And we'll talk in a later episode about how a BRCA mutation affects men because it affects men very differently, but it also increases their risk of cancer. Dr. Funk, always such a pleasure. Oh, Thank really you for enlightening is. us today. <laughs>